In mathematics, the spectral gap refers to the difference between the moduli, absolute values, of the two largest eigenvalues of a matrix or operator. Alternatively, it can be defined as the smallest non-zero eigenvalue. Various theorems relate this difference to other properties of the system. For example, in the context of graph theory, the spectral gap is related to the Chiga constant, which characterizes the connectivity of a graph. Similarly, in Riemannian geometry, the spectral gap is associated with the Chiga constant for Riemannian manifolds. The concept of the eigengap also relates to the spectral gap, emphasizing the difference between eigenvalues. Physics, quantum mechanics In quantum mechanics, the spectral gap of a system pertains to the energy difference between its ground state, lowest energy state, and its first excited state. Specifically, it represents the energy required to transition from the ground state to the first excited state. The mass gap, on the other hand, refers to the spectral gap between the vacuum state, lowest energy state with no particles, and the lightest particle, such as a quark or electron. A Hamiltonian, quantum mechanical operator representing the total energy with a spectral gap is termed a gapped Hamiltonian, while those without a spectral gap are called gapless. Applications The spectral gap plays a crucial role in understanding the behavior of physical systems, especially in condensed matter physics and quantum field theory. Systems with a spectral gap exhibit distinct energy levels, leading to phenomena like insulators with energy band gaps and stable phases. Gapless systems, on the other hand, often exhibit critical behavior, such as phase transitions. Researchers study spectral gaps to characterize the stability, robustness, and behavior of quantum systems. In summary, the spectral gap provides essential insights into the energy structure of physical systems and mathematical matrices. Its presence or absence profoundly influences system behavior and properties. Let's explore a few examples of systems with significant spectral gaps, Markov chains. Consider a finite state Markov chain with a transition matrix. The spectral gap of this matrix quantifies how quickly the chain approaches its stationary distribution. For instance, in Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC, simulations, understanding the spectral gap helps determine how long the program needs to run for valid results. A larger spectral gap implies faster convergence to equilibrium, while a smaller gap leads to slower mixing. Solid-state physics in solid-state physics, the most crucial spectral gap arises in the many-body system of electrons within a solid material. This gap is often referred to as an energy gap. For example, semiconductors have an energy gap between the valence band, occupied electron states, and the conduction band, unoccupied states, affecting their electrical properties. Quantum systems Quantum systems, such as gapped Hamiltonians, exhibit distinct energy levels. A gapped Hamiltonian has a spectral gap between its ground state and the first excited state. In contrast, gapless systems, like critical systems, lack a spectral gap and show critical behavior, such as phase transitions. Remember that the spectral gap provides insights into system behavior, stability, and energy structure. Markov chains A Markov chain is a mathematical model that describes a sequence of events where the future state depends only on the current state, and not on the past. It consists of a finite set of states and a transition matrix that specifies the probabilities of moving from one state to another. Markov chains are widely used in various fields, including physics, computer science, and statistics. Spectral gap The spectral gap of a Markov chain quantifies how quickly the chain converges to its stationary distribution. Specifically, it measures the difference between the largest and second largest eigenvalues of the transition matrix. If the spectral gap is large, the chain converges rapidly. If it's small, convergence is slower. Continuous time Markov chains will focus on continuous time Markov chains. Given a stochastic matrix, transition matrix, K, X, Y, we define the continuous time semigroup associated with it using the kernel, height, X, Y, equals E, T, equals 0, sigma, infinity, I, T, K, X, Y, here, H, underscore, T, X, Y, represents the probability distribution at time T4, a continuous time Markov chain starting from state X at stationary distribution. If the transition matrix K, X, Y, is irreducible, there exists a stationary distribution pi, times, such that H, underscore x times pi times zero. The stationary distribution represents the long-term behavior of the Markov chain. Practical importance Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC simulations rely on spectral gap analysis. Researchers use MCMC to approximate solutions for complex problems, for example, statistical properties of gases, network flow, or graph coverings. Determining how long an MCMC program needs to run is crucial for valid results without excessive processing time. 
Remember, the spectral gap provides insights into the convergence behavior of Markov chains. The spectral gap of a Markov chain is closely tied to its mixing time, which determines how quickly the chain approaches its stationary distribution. Let's explore this relationship, spectral gap. The spectral gap, denoted as xi, measures the difference between one and the largest eigenvalue, in absolute value, of the transition matrix P. Mathematically, xi equals 1, underscore max, where underscore max represents the second largest eigenvalue of P. A larger spectral gap implies faster convergence to equilibrium. Mixing time. The mixing time characterizes how long it takes for the Markov chain to approach its stationary distribution. Specifically, it quantifies the number of steps needed for the chain to become close to its equilibrium distribution. A smaller mixing time indicates faster convergence. Relationship. The spectral gap directly influences the mixing time. Larger spectral gap. When the spectral gap is large, the mixing time is shorter. The chain converge rapidly to its stationary distribution. Smaller spectral gap. A smaller spectral gap leads to a longer mixing time. Convergence is slower. In summary, understanding the spectral gap helps us predict how quickly a Markov chain reaches equilibrium. Certainly, minimizing mixing time in Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC, simulations has several practical implications, efficient sampling. Faster mixing reduces the number of steps needed to generate independent samples from the target distribution. Efficient sampling is crucial for statistical inference, optimization, and uncertainty quantification. Shorter mixing times lead to quicker convergence to the desired distribution. Reduced computational cost. NCMC simulations can be computationally expensive, especially for high-dimensional problems. Minimizing mixing time reduces the overall computational cost. Researchers can achieve accurate results with fewer iterations, saving time and resources. Better exploration of state space. Rapid mixing ensures that the Markov chain explores the entire state space effectively. If mixing is slow, the chain may get stuck in local modes, missing important regions of the distribution. Faster mixing improves exploration and enhances the quality of sample points. Statistical efficiency. Mixing time affects the statistical efficiency of MCMC estimators, for example, mean, variance, quantiles. Shorter mixing times lead to more efficient estimators with smaller variances. Efficient estimators reduce the need for large sample sizes. Convergence diagnostics. Monitoring mixing time helps assess convergence. Diagnostic tools, for example, trace plots, autocorrelation plots, rely on mixing behavior. Detecting slow mixing early allows researchers to address convergence issues promptly. Adaptive algorithms. Some MCMC algorithms adaptively adjust proposal distributions based on mixing behavior. Efficient mixing enables better adaptation, leading to improved performance. Adaptive methods can dynamically tune parameters for optimal exploration. The concept of the burn-in period in Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC, simulations, purpose of burn-in. The burn-in period, also known as warm-up or initialization, occurs at the beginning of an MCMC simulation. Its purpose is to allow the Markov chain to transition from an arbitrary starting point to a region near the target distribution. During burn-in, the chain explores the state space, discarding initial samples that are not representative of the desired distribution. Steps in burn-in. Initialize the Markov chain at some state, often randomly chosen. Run the chain for a fixed number of iterations, the burn-in length. Discard the samples obtained during burn-in. Start collecting samples after the burn-in period. Why burn-in? MCMC algorithms often start from an arbitrary point, which may be far from the high probability regions of the target distribution. Burn-in allows the chain to warm up by exploring the state space and reaching regions with higher probability density. Without burn-in, initial samples could bias the estimation or inference. Determining burn-in length. The ideal burn-in length varies based on the problem, algorithm, and initial conditions. Some guidelines. Run the chain for a sufficient number of iterations, for example, a few thousand. Inspect diagnostic plots, for example, trace plots, autocorrelation plots, to assess convergence. Adjust the burn-in length if needed based on diagnostics. Post-burn-in samples. After burn-in, collect samples for statistical analysis. These post-burn-in samples are used for estimating means, variances, quantiles, and other properties of the target distribution. Remember that the burn-in period ensures that the MCMC chain starts in a reasonable region of the state space, improving the quality of subsequent samples. After the burn-in period in an MCMC simulation, we use convergence diagnostics to assess whether the chain has reached a stable state. 
Here are some key diagnostics, trace plots. Trace plots show the evolution of the Markov chain over iterations. Look for convergence if the chain oscillates around a central value, it indicates stability. Drift or erratic behavior suggests lack of convergence. Autocorrelation plots. Autocorrelation measures how correlated consecutive samples are. Low autocorrelation indicates faster mixing. High autocorrelation may imply slow convergence. Gelman Rubin statistic, R hat, compares variance within chains to variance between chains. R hat close to 1, for example, 1.1, suggests convergence. Larger values indicate lack of convergence. Effective sample size, S. S estimates the number of independent samples. Higher S means better statistical efficiency. Low S implies dependence between samples. Kernel density estimation, KDE. Plot KDE of post-burn in samples. Observe multimodality or unusual shapes. Smooth, unimodal KDE indicates convergence. The effective sample size, S, is a crucial concept in Markov chain Monte Carlo, MCMC, simulations. Let's explore it, what is S? S quantifies how many independent samples contain the same amount of information as the dependent samples obtained by the MCMC algorithm. Since MCMC samples are correlated, S provides an estimate of their effective contribution to statistical inference. Significance of S. Statistical efficiency, higher S means more efficient estimation of parameters, variances, and other quantities of interest. Reduced dependence, a larger S implies less dependence between successive samples, leading to better mixing. Reliable inference, reliable results require a sufficient S to accurately represent the target distribution. The effective sample size, S, in Markov chain Monte Carlo, MCMC, simulations depends on several factors, autocorrelation. High autocorrelation between samples reduces S. Thinning the chain, keeping only every KTH sample, can mitigate this effect. Burn-in period. Longer burn-in phases decrease S. However, some burn-in is necessary for the chain to explore high-density regions. Convergence behavior. Faster convergence leads to higher S. Chains that explore the target distribution efficiently yield better S. The concept of spectral gaps has intrigued researchers across various fields. Here are some open questions related to spectral gaps, definability and spectral gap. Isaac Goldbring's work connects the spectral gap for unitary representations and subfactors with definability of important sets in corresponding structures 1. Investigating the interplay between spectral gaps and definability remains an active area of research. Fractal uncertainty principle. Jake Luff and Zal reduced the spectral gap question for convex compact hyperbolic manifolds to a fractal uncertainty principle 2. Understanding the precise relationship between spectral gaps and geometric properties continues to be an open problem. Undecidability. The question of determining the existence of a spectral gap is undecidable in two or more dimensions 3. This intriguing result connects to fundamental questions in theoretical computer science. Mean field spin glasses. Recent work explores spectral gap estimates in mean field spin glasses, focusing on the first non-trivial eigenvalue of certain matrices 4. Investigating the behavior of spectral gaps in complex systems remains an ongoing challenge. Higher dimensional Schrodinger operators. Researchers study the spectral gap of higher dimensional Schrodinger operators for certain potentials as the domain volume tends to infinity 5. Understanding the behavior of spectral gaps in quantum systems remains an open avenue for exploration. These questions highlight the richness and depth of spectral gap theory. The undecidability problem related to spectral gaps has intriguing implications for both physics and mathematics. Let's explore them, physics implications. Macroscopic properties, the undecidability of spectral gaps challenges the reductionist viewpoint. It reveals a stumbling block in deriving macroscopic properties from microscopic descriptions. Many-body quantum systems, we cannot generally determine whether a quantum many-body system is gapped or gapless. Limitative results, these findings exemplify the role of limitative results in physics, emphasizing the boundaries of what we can predict. Mathematics implications. Axiomatic independence, for any consistent, recursive axiomatization of mathematics, there exist Hamiltonians where the spectral gap's presence or absence is independent of the axioms. Models and reality, the models used in these theorems may be artificial, but they offer insights into the world and the relationship between mathematics and reality. In summary, the undecidability of spectral gaps challenges reductionism, highlights the role of mathematical modeling, and invites philosophical reflection. The philosophical implications of undecidability in physics are thought-provoking and have sparked debates. Let's explore them, metaphysical perspectives. 
Historically, some believed that undecidability, for example, Gödel's incompleteness theorems signaled fundamental limitations to scientific knowledge. This view assumed a platonic world where all answers exist ontologically but remain epistemically inaccessible. However, this perspective clashes with modern physics, structural realism. A more informed view replaces things with a structural notion of real patterns. Instead of seeking definite properties, we focus on the underlying structures that generate patterns. Structural realism aligns better with modern physics, emphasizing relationships over fixed entities. Optimistic outlook, undecidability and unpredictability become statements of undifferentiation of structure rather than insurmountable barriers. We can strive to understand what there is to know, even amid apparent limitations. In summary, undecidability challenges our metaphysical assumptions, but it need not hinder our pursuit of knowledge. That was all, goodbye.